Chancroid is a sexually transmitted infection caused by the bacterium Haemophilus ducreae. Chancroid is a rare form of genital ulceration that presents with or without bubo formation. Bubos are localized swollen painful lymph nodes. The infection is more frequently seen in men than in women in uncircumcised versus circumcised men and has been associated with commercial sex workers and drug use in countries outside of Australia. Almost all cases are symptomatic and asymptomatic carriage is thought to be rare. Regions where chancroid is thought to occur include Sub-Saharan Africa, Asia except Thailand, Latin America and the Caribbean. So regarding the clinical presentation of chancroid, Patients with chancroid usually present with multiple deep, painful genital ulcers with ragged, undermined edges. They typically occur according to the sex of the patients. So, if the patient was a female, it would occur on uh, the vulva and less commonly on the cervix. If the patient was male, it would occur on the prepuce and in the coronal sulcus. It may occur perianally in patients receptive of anal intercourse. So to explain the ulcer further, uh, I will draw this drawing. So we said uh, the ulcer is ragged, which means irregular, and with undermined edges. Undermined edges mean that the ulcer site affects the subcutaneous tissues more than the skin. That's why we see like there's an indentation in the subcutaneous tissue more than the skin surface. So as for the complications of chancroid, the first one is bubo formation. A bubo is a swollen inflamed lymph node in the armpit or groin, which is painful. The second complication, which is phagedenia in males, and it means a rapidly spreading necrotic ulceration of the penile tissue. So how do we diagnose chancroid? If chancroid is suspected, always seek specialist advice. There's a presumptive diagnosis when there is a clinical suspicion in patients with sexual history suggestive of exposure and presenting with anogenital ulceration and lymphadenitis. There's also confirmed diagnosis if we have a positive NAAT, which is a nucleic acid amplification test, such as a PCR of legion swab. Patients with genital ulcers should also be tested for syphilis and herpes infection, as well as chlamydia trichomatis and donovanosis, if indicated. Remember that all patients with genital ulcer disease should be offered a HIV test and refer to anal genital ulcers. So as for the management of chancroid, always seek specialist advice before treating. And for uncomplicated infection, we use azithromycin 1 gram orally stat or ciftriaxone 500 milligrams in 2 mLs of 1% lignocaine IM stat or ciprofloxacin 500 milligrams orally twice a day for 3 days. Most patients respond to the single dose regimens, however, HIV positive patients may require longer courses. All patients should return for review if their ulcers have not healed. Always advise no sexual contact for seven days after treatment. Contact tracing should be done and provide patient with fact sheet and notify the state or territory health department. Remember that chancroid should be Contact traced back to two weeks before ulcers appeared or since arrival in an endemic area and always treat sexual partners. 
Chancroid is notifiable by all doctors and by laboratory on positive isolation. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please support me by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much.